Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's Meet the Author with Dave Rogers. And today I've got a special guest, Miss Donna Savage. Hi, Donna. How are you? Hi, Dave. I'm great. And yourself? Oh, never better, never better. It's great to be back and to talk and to get a, an opportunity to talk to a, a newly minted author. Yes, and you. Congratulations. Thank Can you. Can you tell our audience a little bit about a little bit about you and then why did you write this book? Okay, so my name is Donna Savage. I am a sensuality life coach. And the reason why I decided to write this book is I've been in the sensuality business for many, 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 many years, 12 years, 13, 14 years. And in this journey, I've seen so many women, more so women, and I'm going to talk about the women going through so many um, issues when it comes to their sexuality and, confident, and, and their confidence. And I started writing this book years ago, but because of where I was in my own journey of not being comfortable, I never did. I didn't do anything about it because in the book, it kind of tell you a high level of what I went through first before um what I went through first and foremost, you know, before getting all this, the gook cleaned up. And when the gook started cleaning up through my own journey, then I decided to um, go ahead with the book. Well, congratulations. Thank it's, you. Uh, I'm very excited about it. Yeah, I, I think when I'm usually doing the meet the author interviews, I've got a set formula. And so today I'm going to deviate a little bit because I realize that your book's actually one of these books that people pick it up. I don't think they're going to put it down. So <laughs> what would be a key thing? theme that you have or main takeaway that you think people are are going to really gravitate towards uh, from reading your book you know what my book is such a simple book and it's not one of those big books I wrote the book because of how I am I like small chunks and I go through small chunks very easily so I decided not to bombard a lot of persons with the book so the book is like a, a hundred pages or less to be honest with you so the book is about boosting your se sexuality while connecting with yourself so it just talks about your journey and and the noises and how to calm the noise down and and, and so forth um a couple of feedback that i've had so far is about people just being comfortable even talking about sex is even if they're not to the point of being relaxed but at least it's making them comfortable to talk about sex or comfortably enough to discuss that they're uncomfortably in their own skin beautiful so it really is a, this reflection yet then a safe space to have a, a conversation exactly to perhaps talk nicer to themselves uh, exactly and so it's it's great for your readers your listeners today uh, if this is something that you're interested in sensuality intimacy this is a great opportunity for you to have a breakthrough with mm -hmm. uh, Ms. donna savage donna what advice would you give to new authors oh my gosh uh, <laughs> i'm gonna tell you um for me and to give that you have to have an intention and the reason why i said that is when i when i did the book it's something it's where i was coming from it's my story that's going to make my book proper right i'm not um piggybacking off of everybody's story so it's my personal stories my personal journey um you know that made the book so it was easy to start writing when I realize what it is that I, you know, where, where I want to go with it and my target, who I want to target. Because in everything that we do, we have to have a target market. You know, are, are you doing it for yourself? Are you trying to um, unpack so many things for yourself or do you want other persons to unpack? You know what I mean? So um, for, for, for new authors coming up, you know, it's still a journey for me because I'm still, still very new at this. And, um, you know, I just had a story to tell. And if you have a story to tell, you know, it's, it, it's easier that way. But if you're going to do it just because you want an author beside your name, then it probably is going to be a little bit harder. And you have to have the key players on your team as well. Beautiful. That's a great, great comment is, is the team, the collaborators. Yes. I love the idea of the intention. And then that gives you the perseverance to bring it to completion. Sharing your story. There's an element yes. of personal therapy. Yet There's also... Yes a intention to help others exactly so i think you you really wrapped it up in a beautiful idea uh would you care to share a paragraph from uh from the book a little yes i can <laughs> yes i can um so this is the cover it's called heads up chest out and own your shit beautiful. um so i'm gonna just read um a, a, a little bit so the part that i'm gonna read is called mindful meditation and Okay, so what it is, is what is the match to having better sex? We try exotic herbs, provocative lingeries, expensive meals out, and even prescription medication in a request for a rockin' sex life. 
Well, the answer to better sex is deceptively simple and doesn't require any portion. Here is the big secret, be present. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Be present. Be present. What, what would be a tip for guys to be present? For men, it's, it's not hard for men to be present because when men are in their moment, they're in their moment. You know, um, and this is coming from me speaking to men. So you would be a better person to answer this question. But for women, we, our mind is just too busy. Um, we're constantly thinking, you know, just it's just we're we're so wired differently. So when a man tells me this is what makes them happy or this is where they are, then we have to take it for them. But for women, there's just too many noise and too many things going on in our head. So this is where the um, the problem, I would say, for women, because as you know, 80% of women is not having proper orgasms. You know, so I'm on this march to have a million woman march of women start achieving orgasm. And it doesn't even have to be penetrative orgasm. It could just be in a... Um, energetic orgasm breathing Absolutely. orgasm you know so that's why this and i mean this is the start i'm hopeful to get some more going through but this is definitely the start of great things i guess i think you've <laughs> got a great vision and it really is about uh, something that you, you can see outside that you want to really feel and share inside exactly so exactly I, I guess if we could get this book again just by this podcast you never know it might go out to somebody and if we could get the book into somebody's hand who mm. would you like to have to read it in the next uh, say six months or so and oh my that god would open up some doorways and would make it uh, rather mystical and magical for you very interesting questions i never really thought of that but i could tell you um this is just crazy but what's his name the guy from Medea. what's his name i love him <laughs> what, what's his name again oh gosh well, he'll come to us i think yeah I mean, it will yes, come I afterwards yes, by yes, him yes. i am so I, I love him um and i just think um, men don't like him because he's they're thinking that you know men, he's against men but i just think he's phenomenal because he's definitely he does understand women so for him yes, i'd love the book to be in his hand and then hopefully oprah if she's around still <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so these, these, this is what's great is by you uh, saying it, it's, yeah. uh, it throws it out to the universe and we'll put exactly. it into the links and we'll see if it gets to the second or third person removed because yeah, that's, that's how magic happens, right? So exactly. We're, we're aware of that and we, were, we believe in law of attraction and, exactly. and uh, it's really exciting. What are one or two ways that people can get a copy of your book? Okay, so I have my website that they can visit. Um, I am DonnaSavage.com. It's also my coaching site. But on the coaching site, there's a link to, to purchase the book. Um, I'm on Instagram at Savage Desires DS or Facebook, Donna Savage. Tell us yes. a little bit about your coaching. I, I, I'd i be curious uh, <laughs> as you if you really branched out and and you've been yeah. doing your podcast, you, you've worked on yourself. Yes, uh, I have. What are, what are one or two things that people are, are sharing with you in coaching and, and, and you're, you're just so excited yet also very caring to work, pe work with people in, in the coaching? Okay, so for the coaching, it's just so crazy. People come for you for, for one reason. And then by the time the coaching session started, something totally different. Um, I've gotten a lot of women um, that has been mentally abused, physically abused, um, inadequacy when it comes to sex. Um, they're also confident as well in the way they look or thinking that they can't perform for their husbands or they well, actually have two guys, two, two male clients, finally, two male came to me, but it's not about them. So a lot of times when these clients comes to me, it's about, it's about, it's just about where they are in their life and they realize that they actually need help. But honestly, a lot of my clients has been coming here has been uh, mentally, physically abused, um, raped from, you know, and just and a lot of them with too self-confidence, overeating. Um, and, you know, so it just, just, and it's so funny, like most of my clients now are 45 and up, you know, like they're ready now. They're, they're, they're seeing that, you know, like this is uncomfortable. You know, they're, they're ready to do the work. You know, but it's unfortunate, Dave, that and I'm glad that they're taking the step. And this is where I believe that the, these works needs to start from an early, early, early age elementary school to say, you know what, this is who I am and don't take shit from anyone type of thing. You know what I mean? And they can know how to back off. And why it's so relatable to me is that's my journey. 
This is me. That was my journey. I was in this uncomfortable place for very many, 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 many years because of how I felt about myself. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to stop concentrating on the product because, you know, I used to sell the sex toys. So stop work, concentrating on the product and start working on within to come back out. You know, so that's when things kind of start shifting. And that's when it happens to me going in to come back out. That is great. And I guess when you're doing the coaching now, do you find that it is still the same target market that you originally went into? Because is it the 40 to 65 year old man and woman who are perhaps for the first time, maybe getting a whole new relationship with sensuality and sexuality and, and they're being willing to be vulnerable that they don't really know what happened. And is that part of what you targeted is for the book? Did you originally target that? You know, you know what? No, I just target. I just had the book and thinking anybody from their twenties up, but to be honest, my whole target market, even the whole sexuality was ages 30 and up. Okay. Right. Even from, from the toys, from the products, from the different workshop that I used to have, it was 30 and up, but now that I've upped my game or my energy into a, and that is, you know, what, it's not even a different direction, but a more upward energetic direction. So now we're not dealing with the physical, we're more talking about more energetic, you know, on a, on a place of love and that's where we're coming from. Then it shifted to the 45 year old because now when you're at that age group, it's as if um, some a spark went off. So it's like, as if you're starting to wake up, you know, you're not that person anymore. Like when you look at yourself and think, oh shit, I'm 45. And I'm stuck, you know, and I'm still at the same place. So those are the women that start waking up and start inquiring and start looking around and trying to figure, start figuring things out. Well, fantastic. I'm, I'm thrilled to have uh, seen your journey and to uh, yeah, you be have. part of it in little ways. And, and yes, I look forward to, to hearing more about uh, some of the adventures that you might be planning. Perhaps it might be some of those uh, exotic resorts that you might bring a group of people and, yes. and have a wonderful three-day, five-day, ten-day uh, ex experience. And uh, do you have anything like that planned, or is that something? You, that's you know what? Yes, we are planning on doing something like that. I'm hopefully for the end of this year. But what's been happening though is monthly we have this thing called a healing circle that I've been um, been working on. So we have one coming up on February 13th and it's in the morning in Ajax that a bunch of women, we know we do dance, we um, we do yoga, we just talk or we talk about our truth. Um, we go after um, womb exercises, like we're just trying to mash up all that story, that trauma story that's been coming from our ancestors down. So we target those areas and we just talk about what's bothering us and um, you know, move from there because we don't want to be flatlined until the day we die, right? It's time we start living and not exist. That's brilliant. So again, folks, uh, this sounds <laughs> like the full extent of healing, of moving, it expressing, is. of is. tapping and releasing. And, and so congratulations, Donna. Is there a last Thank little you. comment or, or quote or, or invitation that you would have for our listeners and viewers today? Yes, all I want to say is um, be present be absolutely present and um, know what is it that you want and go after it and breathe through it. <laughs> Beautiful. With a big laughter. Thank you so much, Donna. You have an absolutely great week, month, and year ahead.